So these are the last of the tomatoes. Look how beautiful they are. Pretty soon there'll be a frost and uh, it'll be the end of it. it. And there's a pear. Look at that. Natural boss pear. The only one I think of. So it's a city obviously that's always been on the, at the crossroads in, in historically and I've long been fascinated by the city of Havana, by Cuba as a country, but in particular by Havana. I love cities and uh, uh, Havana itself is a, an architectural gem. Um, I went to Havana the first time in the mid-90s when I uh, happened to go there for May Day and as soon as I saw the city for the first time I really fell in love with the, the architecture of the city, with the people in the city. Uh, eventually I learned to speak Spanish and uh, that made it a lot easier um, and I kept going back over the years for different, uh, on different occasions, different purposes. I had long been interested in photographing and documenting working class culture to begin with. So Cuba was very fascinating to me as a socialist uh, experiment on the doorstep of North America. Now Canada and Cuba had always had a, a, you know, a positive relationship ever since the Cuban Revolution first took place. And we had, you know, a, a good relationship with Cuba, and, and Canadians went to Cuba a lot, and whereas Cuba was off limits to Americans, but not to Canada. So we had this already this environment of positive feelings between the two countries. I, I returned in 1998 when the Pope, Pope John Paul II, visited. I knew it was going to be a very important historical moment because the Pope had been visiting every other country in the Americas and had never gone to Cuba. It was the only country he had not gone to. And so that when the Pope went there, of course, uh, he spoke against the American embargo and the Cubans knew he was going to do that, I'm sure. Uh, so it was kind of a recognition by a very important international figure of the importance of, of the country. The show is about the city of Havana, uh, but I, wanted, I was trying to show the glimpses of daily life by the residents of Havana and also the conditions that they live in, which are beautiful Art Deco homes, but in, in dire condition because they really don't have that many resources in terms of repair, although they are doing quite a bit of work now. Uh, so the show is really something about, about um, it was based on a book that I did uh, in collaboration with, uh, with a friend uh, on the concept of house and home. How does one convert a house into a home? And in Cuba, of course, you do, you do, they said, you know, you do that with your heart because really we don't have that many building materials. We don't have that much wood, we don't have that many bricks. And so a home is a place of the heart. And that kind of really uh, piqued my interest more. And, uh, and so the, the, this show really is a, is a segment from, from that body of work, but also from previous work that I had gone before I worked on this book. My name is Vincenzo Pietro Paolo. I'm a photographer based in Toronto. And for most of my career, I've been concentrating on documenting the social conditions, social justice issues, uh, both here in Canada and abroad. My next show is called Havana City at a Crossroads. It's organized by James Rodman Fine Arts and it will take place at the Charlotte Hale Gallery in Mervish Village in Toronto. <laughs>